What are we building? <laughs> bunny mini coop. A bunny coop tractor thing. <laughs> and it's going to be a small tractor type of thing where um, we'll move it just like the chicken tractor by rolling it. But it'll be much smaller and it'll be set up so that we don't need to go in and out of it to take care of the bunnies. They'll, um, I'll build a ramp where they'll go up into a little nesting box kind of safe zone when they feel like it and otherwise they'll be out on grass and, um, and it won't require opening them up and letting them out every day and it'll free up the bigger chicken tractor. What do you think, Pumpkin? Good? Alright, let's do this. point in the process we've done the basic frame and now we're putting in the lower supports for a little bunny hutch area a built-in hutch at the end of the tractor there's my sketchup design that I set up and that light orangey brown color in the back is the hutch area we're about to set up so first there's the frame That'll be the floor for within that small hutch so that bunny poop and bunny pee can fall straight through just like any standard hutch is built. Then we're, we're using this thin plywood to make the four sides of the hutch. We made it about 10 inches high. We could have gone a, gone a little higher, but I was thinking that some airflow through there would be important. Uh, my understanding about bunnies in general is they're a lot more cold tolerant than heat tolerant, so I wanted to make sure that um, we could keep air moving so that they don't overheat in the summer. So we zipped those with a jigsaw and now we're screwing them onto the frame. In a minute you'll see that the side panels didn't really have anything to screw onto, so I put a couple of little corner blocks on so that those side panels had a couple more spots to be screwed to. And then on the front side you'll see we made a little castle door for them. There are the 1x4s that will hold the roof. And here we are putting together the little ramp. You can see the support 2x4 coming from underneath the frame and then there's a 1x4 that we cut at just the right angle to create a ramp for the bunnies. I think it was a 30-ish degree angle and the ramp is at least four inches up off the ground so that when we're outside moving it about it's not catching on anything and bunnies can hop straight up. Then we run hardware cloth all the way around. It's two foot hardware cloth. And we just did one piece starting at one side of the door and wrapping all the way around. And I designed the hutch such that that two foot piece could cover that taller front end and the shorter back end of the hutch. 
on this back end, it takes up the entire width of it. Is there a bunny in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's the door going in. I built the door a little bit too big, and so I had to grind off some sides of it until we finally could fit it in there, get the hinges on, and get it opening and closing. Victory. screws that have that piece of rubber so that sticks to the roof and rain doesn't get through the holes so the bunnies stay dry. yesterday. We did a bunch of work on a Sunday and finished the vast majority of it and we're going to do a couple little things and then take it out and put the bunnies in it. So these little doodads, these eye bolts need to screw into the ends and this is where we'll latch a pulling rope to lift and pull the uh, bunny tractor. And a latch for the door. And then we need to do a latch for the door. This is where I was going to put it. Alright, yeah, let's roll this thing for the first time. Can I roll it? Yeah, let's roll it. We're going to make an Aria-sized pulling rope for it. See if we can make it work. You've had fun building this, sweetheart? Uh huh. Good. Don't let all the screws fall out. Can you be in charge of helping make sure the screws don't fall out? Yeah. Alright. Do you want to hold the screws? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hey James, can you pull one screw out for me? <coughs> and now can you stick it onto that? Good job. What you got, Arya? Some hay for the bunnies. For their little bed area? Uh -huh. We are going to put the bunnies right here. And if you think I look weird, that's because it was character dress of day and I'm Fancy Nancy. Bye bye. Where do you think, Arya? Like turn this way? Yeah, right over all this. Over all this? Uh, and up to this way. This? Uh, that works. We are going to play a game called Catch a bunny! All right, catch a bunny. Are you nervous? Yeah. The doors. You gonna close it? You stay where you are. Yeah. Ha! Whoa. James, make sure she doesn't go through the hole. Huh. You got her, are you? Good job. <laughs> All right, James, come on out. We got both bunnies. I was so I think this one's Hannah, and that one's Luna. I was helping her. <laughs> Watch out, she might start squirming. I'm trying to be calm, and I think she's being calm. <laughs> Don't jump, bunny. I only have you by one hand. Hey, James, can you come open the door? I'm gonna go get. Do you want to take her? Or do you want me to do it? Uh, you can do it. I'm gonna go get the water. In there. Daddy, can you help me? I can't get it in there. Oh, there it goes. Got it? So, there's their water. Can they drink from it? Can you drink? Munchie buggies. <laughs> it is Hannah. Hmm. See, you're Hannah. And your sister's Hannah. All right. What do you think, Arya? Come sit with us. That's our bunny tractor. Uh -huh. What do you think of it? Awesome. Yeah? Uh-huh. So now we have a nice little dedicated bunny spot. Now the big tractor, we can do chickens in that. And um, I think this is small enough that you'll be able to move it every day pretty soon. Maybe you have to get a little bigger to be able to do it. When I'm nine? I don't know, we'll see. Hmm. I'm gonna give him these. My butt is touching the grass. <sighs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Alright James, I need you to actually stand up this time. <laughs> Alright James, really, I want to go in. Uh, let's go think about dinner. Yeah. And Stardew Valley. And Rimworld. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>